It's a war zone, and we're the ones on the front line. Channel surf a few weeks from now, and you'll notice a reoccurring guest star. From This Is Us to The Morning Show and more, the virus is making an appearance. Even the kids of South Park are feeling it. You really want to spend the next year on Zoom? All right, children, welcome back to class. And when Grey's Anatomy returns for season 17, what we're up against now is unlike anything that came before. The doctors will be on the front lines. I always knew I could be a good doctor. When the Canadian creator of The Good Doctor returned to work, he says the choice was clear. But it is the biggest thing that's going on in every one of our lives, and it's a medical show. You know, it's a show about doctors. And so the season begins with the pandemic in progress. You have a huge opportunity to not just entertain, but to hopefully inform, hopefully open some eyes and, and make people think about things a little differently. I think a lot of what is interesting about it, and I think what showrunners are probably struggling with right now is timing. But some think it's too soon to explore a story nowhere near its conclusion. Do you do it in two or three years, you know, when, you know, maybe it's not so fresh in people's minds and not so, um, you know, maybe even traumatic? I'm here. For the creator of the CBC series Digstown, the solution is focusing on the world post-COVID, everything from tenant rights to mental health. I feel like there's something that's interesting about the pandemic where I'd really like to explore, you know, the toll in the consequences of, you know, this social isolation on people. And that's where producers find themselves caught between offering escape and introspection. There are these incremental changes that you're just like, well, you have to deal with that because there's consequences. A place to reflect what we're going through together. Eli Glasner, CBC News, Toronto.